right guys, what is going on? Welcome to the new upload schedule. We'll get that out of the way right now. Tuesdays and Thursdays. YouTube hasn't been notifying people, yada yada yada. Tuesdays and Thursdays are days you know for sure I should upload. I might drop in some random things here and there. I wanted to do Friday live streams again, but you work at night now, so that's not going to work. Mm. Well, you get off earlier though on Fridays, so we could mm -hmm. do them later. Yeah, we could. Okay, we'll, we'll work that out later, but if you... It's a Tuesday or a Thursday and I haven't uploaded a video or you haven't seen that I have, check. If I haven't uploaded one, sorry. I, sometimes I just don't have a video to upload. Yeah, Today we are putting a full Cobb catback exhaust and a Mountain MP215 package on the Fiesta ST. When did you get that Cobb on? Say! <laughs> <laughs> Today we're actually working on the Volvo, which I think a lot of people are going to be excited about. All 14 people who watch this one. Yeah. But uh, to keep it interesting because of what we're doing to the Volvo, I've also posted on Instagram on my story for you guys to ask us questions and we're completely and blatantly ripping off more skids. So uh, here's Jasmine guys. Uh, people seem to think I've gotten rid of it. Oh, it's still here. Oh wow. Hmm, see? Uh. <sighs> Impressive. Basically, we're just going to roll this forward and pull this mega squirt harness off to the side and then as much factory wiring as we can get rid of, we're going to. Where's the wideband? Did you take that out? The sensor? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the passenger seat. Oh. There's been a hot minute since we've done anything with this. Yeah. Alright, let's push it into the sun and work on it for 10 minutes and then cry. Alright. Let's get up inside this woman. Mm. Ooh. Oh! Still smell like an old Volvo in here. I wonder if anyone's watching these videos that like just started watching that has no idea what this car is. I'm sure. I take it out of gear, of course. Yeah. For those who need a whole rig rundown on this thing, this comes from the golden era of when we actually were, uh, worked on cars. <laughs> um, this is a 1986 Volvo 740 Turbo. It's got a pillar pod, so you know it's fast as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's faster than man. Um, no, he no. You admitted it. No. <laughs> I can edit anything you say out. <laughs> so, uh, built to make a squirt harness. We were on 18 PSI on an eBay 57 trim turbo clutch. Took a dump on me because I dumped it many times. In second gear. First gear, second gear, eighth. That's uh. Oh. <laughs> so uh, yeah, dude, I did that mod where you can like split every gear with the overdrive. Oh. That's apparently actually a thing. It's just basically a semi transmission. Oh. And Volvo bullying like 85 miles per gallon on the highway. Okay. God, this thing is dirty. Anyway, I bought this car out of a field. There was a yellow-bellied marmot living in it. <laughs> so it was just full of actual shit. But it was a turbo manual. Didn't run. That's why I got mega squirted. Blew the clutch. So I was like, okay, well, I'm taking the engine and trans out because we don't mess with that. Just pulling transmission stuff around here. So we went that route. And then the engine was out. And the rod caps were real loose. So... We pulled it apart. It's got forged bottom end now. Well, forged rods anyway, not a full forged bottom end. Um, transmissions like to grenade in these, so now I have a CD009 to put in it. This was supposed to be a, you know, quickly do the clutch, pop it back together, have it running again. It's become spend thousands and thousands of dollars building this car. So and it still does everything. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Buy another car and drift that while you're working on your Volvo. Oh, is it over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Windshield uh, washing fluid thing delete, because feck that noise, dude. All right, so I'm going to pop this bulb out of here. I'm going to leave the bulb in this one, because that makes it pretty obvious we want to keep it. I'll keep this, because it's in good shape. Yes, motor. The magical disappearing Volvo insulation. Well, that made that easy. So, I assume that's a ground for the lights then. Uh, this ground wire is. Yeah. The one I just hooked out is for the motor. So that's why I'm saying I kind of want to like 
basically just cut the harness open and pull everything out up to the firewall that isn't going to be staying. Okay. You know, some poor jackass back in the 80s was like meticulously putting this all together and then realizing just, that in five years the wiring was garbage. Could you imagine? Rip it all apart to replace a new one. That poor soul. It must suck. Not to mention it was Sweden, so it was probably cold the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Even with the sun out. Yeah. See, that looks like a whole lot of wires we don't need. <laughs> well, this is like a big main ground or something. Yeah. Uh, cut towards your friends. <laughs> Always. You're doing a good job at that. All right, so these grounds come off these two main ground wires and go to the window stuff. We don't need that. We don't need any of this, which is sick. This is the harness for the headlights and the blinker, keeping all that. So basically all this stuff stays and all this stuff goes. Um, I'm assuming we probably don't need to keep this considering it's not plugged into anything and the wires are gapped. Insulation just like right here on this wire, there isn't. This is what every Volvo does. See, other wires just like it. You think that's going to be a nice not shorted out fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Are you shitting me right now, Volvo? That math that you yeah. don't have anymore. So that's going bye-bye. Mega squirt gang or die, you know? Oh man, I guess I'm not in the gang. You better die then. That's a throwback. Dude, oh gee. Throwback. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Look how brittle that is. Yeah, when I bought this copper, I left my wallet at home and like this 16 year old kid paid for it. Really? I was like, dude, my house is like right here. I can give you money. He's like, nah, dude, don't worry about it. It's like eight bucks. Shout out to that dude if he happens to see this. Throw that in the garbage pile. We got V-Band now. Everything's still wired up, like in theory, we could put the jumper on the battery and plug the lights in and test it. Good. That's some nasty spaghettiness. Fuck your maths, dude. Mega squirt gang or die! I don't want to die. Well, you better start mega squirting then. But I don't have money. It should be separate from that, but it's a Volvo, so... Well, what kind of concerns me is that the battery is still hooked up. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> it's, uh, we took that off before we started messing with the wires, Ross. Alright, we got the wiring cut, so now Ross is going to start it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, it works. Do it again. Yo. What? Do it again. Something's way wrong in here. What? Is it on? Yeah. Hit the brights. Yeah, we're good. Hit the blinker. Yeah. Sick. All right, let's take a couple questions. That was successful. There's a loud buzzing. I don't know what from. Sounds like it's near the glove box. Could that be like the fan? It's possible. HVAC system. Now I just need to wash it in here. We need to do the other side, I guess. This had to be the first question. What's up with Project 16? I don't know what you want from me. I can't find oil squirters. I decided I'm not going to put the engine together. I'm going to have a shop do it. But I can't do it till I find oil squirters. Still haven't found any. Still been looking. People still keep sending me the same ones that aren't the right ones. It's, uh, it's not happening. Hmm. What did you do to lose weight? Looks good. Uh, keto diet. I've lost 70 pounds. Damn. 16 valve or 8 valve? I got two 16 valve heads sitting in my. Oh, it's okay. I mean, 16 valve here is kind of a giant pain in the ass. What do you think, Russ? For a Volvo? Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
you can make decent power still on eight valve. Sixteen valve sounds like a like a Honda though, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it does. They sound cool when you boost them and they make a ton of power. And Yoshi Fab makes all the stuff. Yes. Shout out Yoshi Fab to like get it where you want it to be. Because there's like you booster do booster clearancing issues and stuff like that for left hand drive models. There's quite a bit to do. And there's also like piston clearances because if you try to slap it on an eight valve block, it doesn't really work. Really? Yeah, you have to have dished pistons or something. Like not the dish that you have that we all have, but like it's cut in to make clearance for the valves since it's an interference head. This guy says twin turbo B230 FT or GTFO. Twin turbo? How would you make that work? You wouldn't. You just put a big single turbo on it like every other reason. Why yeah. Alright, here's the deal with this side. Um, we didn't label very well mm -hmm. alternator and starter things. So um, we're gonna wait to clean this side up till everything's back in. Because that side, there's nothing detrimental. All the wiring was just, you know, for that, and then like the MAF and a bunch of other stuff that doesn't exist on this car anymore. This side's a little more finicky, because there's still a bunch of stuff we need. I mean, there's a lot of things we can cut, but I don't want to pull any of this out yet. Right, right. So... Yeah, so I, I prefer to just leave it be for right now. Um, that's good that that works. We did good there. I'll wrap up those wires eventually. Um, but primarily, like if I'm honest with you, the idea of this video was not to do this, but to put the engine back together. Yes. Yeah. It and was. then I remember that my new head bolts aren't here. Yes, I actually did buy new head bolts, regardless Jeez. of the reused Volvo ones. Got them from the plug FCP Euro, so I'll never have to buy them again. Mm -hmm. Even if we lift the head, pull it off, put another head on it five times. That FCP lifetime warranty, son. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna address some questions. Yeah. I'm gonna let Ross answer a few of them. I'm just gonna hop this there. You won't be missed. All right, mother lovers. So, Volvo is worked on. <laughs> um, we wanted to do more, obviously, but that ain't gonna work, so. Let's start, uh, what's going on with the Rabbit and the 740? That's been addressed already on both accounts. Will you ever be making a trip to Utah? You should do a fan meetup or something and be sick of me, y'all. Uh, um, one of your top few favorite YouTubers, damn. Ooh. We go to Utah fairly frequently, but I don't know if there's really enough people to have a meet. We'll just hang out with James and be like, hey, a Stradman fan meet, like featuring me, and no one will be there for me, but yeah. <coughs> What's y'all's least favorite car you've owned or driven? Owned or driven? I'm gonna say with what I've owned. Just because, like, I've driven a lot of cars. What are you gonna say, bro? My least favorite? Uh, probably that Honda Civic. Yeah, the hatch? The EK. Yeah. yeah. That thing was pretty tragic. Yeah. I mean, it got great gas mileage, but I... The bro, back stories that it had. Yeah. The stains on stains the ceiling. Stains on the ceiling. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I would yeah. say that. Not not worse than the, uh, the GTI, that's for sure. The GTI is great. <laughs> What are you doing to her? Well, Brendan, first of all, asking about the Volvo. How's the beat off going? When will the beat of challenges begin? I don't know what challenges you're referring to. I think like when we're done, and like we start playing with them. I mean, really, all we're gonna do is just like snow thrash. Yeah, crash them into each other in the snow. That was really the whole point of them, which sucks because that. Mustang, besides that mirror, is really straight. Yeah, well, it's also like a V6 and no one No one ever it. would want it. I don't blame them. <laughs> Alright, let's see. No question, just thank you for making more Volvo stuff. Is Ross gay? No. <laughs> no. Ross has a girlfriend. Yes. So, 
thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, there's a nice little update on the Volvo for you. I'm just waiting for head bolts and then we'll put the engine back together, put the trans on it, and hopefully pull the Volvo in and drop it in place and start uh, putting things back together. I'd really like to get the starter on, compression test it, since everyone's doubting the uh, reused piston rings, but I think they keep forgetting that it's a Volvo. Yeah, they're fine. It's fine. But uh, we'll compression test it since we got the new head. Um, hook everything back up. We could, pro we could probably have it running, just like not drivable. Yeah, because there won't be a drive shaft. But and we still got to situate a shifter. Then we need to make a cross member too. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. Yoshi Fab is making one, so I don't know how long that's going to be out. So if he has it out within the next you know, month or so, then I'll probably go that route. But if not, we can just make one. Um, my new car will be revealed here soon. My new drift chassis. Ross has a pretty dope plan for the Mustang, for the beat-off. Yes. And uh, don't forget, car the video. You send us a picture of your car. If we like it, we'll run it at the end of the video. So you can submit pictures of your car to cursedforeverhelp at gmail.com, which is right here on the screen. And it's always at the end. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.